recently read a book um, by an author named Susan Reed. Her uh, that that was her pen name, I guess. Her real name was a uh, Jeannie or uh, Janine Gospel, and it's called The Body Snatchers. And I guess this is kind of like a mini review slash uh, uh, editorial, whatever opinion video about the book. But the book is kind of it's, it's, it's kind of far out. It's not for everybody because you have to have a very open mind to read this book. I mean, you have to have a very open mind because the book is about her interaction with an alien being, a reptile, a reptilian alien being who, I guess, body snatched a human being and he's living in the human's body, coexisting in the human, you know, he's coexisting with the human and he took over his body. And the two, the two, you know, the, 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 the two have conversations and they, and they, they coexist in the same body. But I guess, I guess you could say half of him is a reptilian alien, the other half is a human being. She said, you know, all type of, he had all type of emotional, you know, uh, uh, collisions. And it was just, it's, it's very, it's, it's, it's very, I don't know. I mean, I'm, I'm looking for a word to describe it. I mean, it's just, it's, it's out there. And the thing is where I'm at now at the point where I've been reading so much stuff and researching and learning, and I'm like, I'm ready for truth. I mean, this book is, it's, it's a very good read. I mean, a lot of it is questionable, of course. By the way, Susan Reed, Jeannie, or Janine Gospel, whatever, she was found dead, uh, if I'm not mistaken, October 2003, shortly after writing the book, with a bruise to her head, and she was floating uh, off the coast of Nassau, Bahamas, if I'm not mistaken. I think it was Bahamas. You know, Nassau, Bahamas, in October, if I'm not mistaken, 2003. And in the book, she said that she she had no intentions of committing suicide. She was a happy individual. You know, if she's found dead, it's... You know, it should be questionable. It should, it should definitely be investigated because she had no intention of committing suicide. She's a great athlete in great health, great swimmer. But yet, and still, they found her with a gash on her head floating behind. <clears throat> I think it was her house in the Nassau, Bahamas in October 2003. And I said that to say, anytime somebody who's, who has been talking about topics that, you know, uh, I guess could be uh, classified A1 or, you know, Manila envelope classified, and they end up dead. I always kind of wonder what they uh, are they you know worth telling you know believing you know for telling the truth because why are they dead now? I mean I'm not saying she couldn't you know she couldn't have had her hands full carrying something tripped over something a rock and tumbled over and fell in the lake. I'm not saying that she didn't commit so I don't know I wasn't there I don't talk on anything that I don't know about but I just find it awfully you know peculiar that everybody that speaks out on topics that I classified or. Um, I guess taboo topics, they always end up dead somehow, some way of a strange disease or cancer or a sporadic heart attack out of nowhere. I, I just really find that interesting. But in the book, she was she not almost every few pages, she would mention her death. Like she was saying that they don't want these secrets exposed. And if something were to happen to me, this, this and that. And it turns out something did happen to her. But in the book, She's saying a lot of things like uh, she had conversations with the reptile, reptilian being, the alien being, and they told her a lot of things in, in, in pertaining to the health system, the educational system of, you know, of, of, the, of the world, not just the country, but of the world, the health system, educational system, the spiritual system, uh, uh, political figures, you know, events and past, you know, past events and things. I mean, just the book is crazy. I mean. I'm not going to say it's true or not. I'm not going to say I believe. It. I'm not going to say I don't. But I have an open mind to anything nowadays. And she's really saying some heavy stuff in that book. She, you know, supposedly she talked to a, a alien being who was one of, and she named the reptilian, by the way. She named him Brian, the one that she was in a relationship with and who took over the human's body. She named him Brian. And Brian had, you know, he had two, um, I guess, colleagues. And one of them's name was Edish, I believe. I think she named him Edish, E-T-T-I-S-H. And she explained how she was having conversations with Edish and Edish told her things like they were responsible for Princess Diana's death. They're responsible for, uh, I mean, the uh, the uh, Roswell incident and all, all type of cover ups and things and scientists being killed and disappearing. He said they, the aliens supposedly took credit for all of this. And the reason being is because they don't want you us as, you know, humans to raise our level of consciousness and become more um you know, become become more, I guess, intelligent to what's going on out here, you know, be more privy to 
with what's going on. That's why you have TV, radio, internet, sex, websites, you know, all that to keep your mind off the big picture, of course. And I mean, I recommend it. I recommend you read it. I'm not saying read it and say, uh, uh, believe it, but I'm going to recommend it. It's, it's recommended to read just to read it. You come up with your own conclusion. I know what I believe and I know what I don't believe. And I'm not going to push it off on others, but I will say, read the book, you know, just read it. It's actually, it, it won't even cost you. I found the book online for free. Just do a search, put in, uh, um, go to Google, put in Body Snatcher Susan, Susan Reed. I think it's the first to second, uh, the first to second uh, return that you see, the first second link return that you see. I think it's uh, it's right there. And it's, it's, it's a downloadable book. I had it printed out and I actually read the book and I read, I read the printout and it, it, it's very interesting. I mean, it's worth reading. I'm not going to, again, I'm not going to say, you know, buy into it and go 100% and, you know, hard body and believe it, but it's definitely worth reading. It's, she makes some very interesting, uh, very interesting points in the book. So it's called Body Snatchers by Susan Reed. You know, rest in peace, bless the dead, and always keep an open mind. Some of this stuff may be true. Some of it may not be, but maybe one day we'll find out. Until then, when you know better, you do better.